What? See that girl over there? That's Trish Flintoff. I, I dated her like 10 years ago. Yeah, and what happened? Well, the way I ended things, I was, what you call in the business, a jackass. <laughs> you know, what are you yeah, I take it easy, man. You've been married for like eight years. I know, you know, but I cannot be seen by her, okay? She's on my top three most awkward people to run into list. <laughs> right after this friend of my dad's who taught me to wrestle. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I just got asked out on a date. Good for you, man. Where is she? Oh, uh, it's that guy over there. Okay, it's, it's not what you think, all right? Because after this whole thing with Denise, it's nice to have someone who's into me again. What's wrong with that? And I can think of two things, and they rhyme with schmesticles. <laughs> Calm down. It, it's just dinner and a movie. Wait, you said yes? I, yeah, he's a... Nice guy, we have a lot in common, and I, I gotta eat. <laughs> What's your end game here? We go out, he makes me feel desirable again, then when he makes his move, I go, oh, sorry, buddy, I'm sweet on lady kind. <laughs> but I'm very touched. I'm sure you will be. I, I don't know why I tell you guys anything. Oh, good. There's Carrie, let's go. Okay. <sighs> oh, Carrie? Too close to she who hates me. <laughs> oh my God, they touched. They touched. They're talking. Do something. Create a distraction. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Moonwalk. <laughs> she likes her purse. Get the hell out of there. Wow, Just... they're really hitting it off. Stop it. Stop talking. Stop talking. Oh, no, they're coming over here. Oh, I'm in hell. Honey, <laughs> hey. hey. Um, I want you to meet somebody, Trish. This is my husband, Doug. Doug, this is Trish. Hi, Doug. I owe you a phone call. <laughs> I'm just saying, do you have to have lunch with her? No, you went out with her 10 years ago, and we hit it off, and she works for sex, and she's gonna take me to the friends and family sale next week. I am begging you to let this go. Doug, could you just explain to me what happened that was so terrible that I can't even have a meal with her? I, I'll tell you, but... I just want you to remember, I'm still the same old Doug who can make you laugh with only his belly button. Would you just tell me what happened? Well, we went out a couple times, and I realized it wasn't going anywhere long term. So I may have bought concert tickets for a tour that was six months in the future to make her think I was serious so that she would sleep with me. That's really jerky. There's nice. more. <laughs> After we finally hooked up, I may have climbed out of her bedroom window with $20 that I may have taken off her dresser for cab fare. Okay, that's horrendously jerky. A little more, a little more. The next day, she called my answering machine and left this crazy message, and she may have caught me playing it for a bunch of my buddies for our general amusement. Oh my God, Doug, you're a monster! What could have possibly possessed you to act that way? Was she so awful? I don't know. She said the word literally a lot. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's literally the best muffin I ever had. Oh, it's literally the funniest show I ever saw. Ah. Yeah, well, oh, what a bitch. I wish she were dead. I'm not proud of what I did, okay? I feel terrible. That's why I'm asking you to drop this. No, I can't drop this, okay? On behalf of all women, I think I owe it to her to have lunch. And we're having lobster that you're paying for. Fine, but whatever bad stuff she says about me, just remember this. <laughs>